Hi everyone, it's Josh here from Destiny Strategies and I'm here with directors Phil and Laura Lee and we're doing this video which is an interview to share with you some very exciting news that's coming up in May. So in May there's going to be a, a, a seminar about building business strategies. So um, Phil and Laura Lee, can you just tell us a little bit about why you decided to do a seminar about building business strategies? Yeah, well, Josh, we found there's a lot of people out there who want to fulfil the call of God on their life. And, and they, sometimes money is one of those things that holds us back. Uh, sometimes it's, you know, we, we don't like what we're doing. Uh, and God wants us to enjoy life to the full. So we're, we're looking to help people really to uh, come into the fullness that God would have for them. And that could, be, that could be just making money to go on a mission trip. It could be changing your career and, and giving you something more fulfilling. So there's a whole range of things, and we just want to give people the opportunity to, I guess, see what else is out there and, and see what might get them going. Yeah, yeah, that sounds amazing. There are, so I feel like that there's a lot of people at the moment that God's really been talking to about their finances mm. and about the things that, even the, the wrestle at the moment of what God is is wanting to build into their lives. And, and, I, and it's very strategic at the moment, I feel, that God wants to take each and every person, his sons and daughters, into a new level of faith for their finances. I feel like there's there's a lot of people that have, that have said to us that they've had prophecies about their finances, that they have prophecies even, that God's given them power to create wealth. But it's like there's a prophecy and a promise, but how do we get from that prophecy and promise into actually mm. living and walking in that? And, you know, I feel like that we've got, um, God's given us some principles to be able to work through. Yeah. Yeah. That's and so the other thing, Josh, is that a lot of the our heroes in the Bible were business people. Mm. They, they, in some ways, they had a lot of influence because of what they did, mm. or their, their faith level took them to a new place. Mm. Abraham was a great example, and we call him the father of faith. Well, God calls him the father of faith. But it, it's, you know, he, he stepped out in faith, doing what he believed God had called him to do. And so we want to build people's faith in that area as well mm. to really bring them up. You know, it's people like David who, you know, he was anointed king and then he spent 17 years or 13 years running, mm. wondering how that ever was going to happen. Mm. But God enabled that to happen, but he went through a process and, and you know, it, all of these guys were business people or very influential in some aspect of, of leadership. And I suppose that's part of what we want to get across. Mm. Mm. Some really good stuff. Um, I'm excited about it because I know how much it's going to bring change to my life and I'm sure people watching are probably getting excited just listening to it. Um, what if there's people listening and they're saying to themselves, oh, I'm not a business person or I've never been in business before, I just have a nine to five job, is this seminar really for me? What would you say to that? Yeah, look, um, that's a common question, I guess. And you know, if I'm not in business, why would I want to come? Well, because you can learn things that you don't know already. There's strategies that God has, there's principles that God has uh, in his word, uh, which we can apply to our life that will take us forward to that next stage. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are uh, an employee, and, but how can you improve what you're doing to go to the next level there, to be able to achieve more and uh, you know, maybe get that pay rise, maybe get a better job, maybe uh, look at some time down the track doing something different. Mm, yeah. And there's a scripture that says too that we are about our father's business. So really everything that we do for God is about the father's business. So it's not just, even though the, the, uh, the seminar is called Building Business Strategies, it's not just about business, maybe in, as we know in the secular, but it's about being about the father's business, about father God's business. Mm, that's awesome. Mm. Um, I'm really excited about this question. So what do you feel God is saying to the body of Christ in terms of finances? And if I come to this seminar, How's, how is that going to help me align with, with that? Well, God is always talking about finances. The, the Bible it says a lot about finance, and it was probably the, one of the major topics that Jesus talked about. And oftentimes the church as a whole hasn't necessarily seen that, or they've seen the extremes of that where it, it's all about money. Well, it's not all about money. Money is important because that will help us to fulfill what God has for us. But if we don't have any money, then we can't fulfill that mm. either. Mm. So there needs to be a balance. And for some people, it's, it's having sufficient money to go and do what God has called them to do. Mm. It could be a mission trip once a year. It could be going out on the streets and being able to feed people. It could be, uh, you know, whatever it is that God has called you to do. Maybe you just want flexibility of time to be able to go and um, be a missionary in your local area or, or 
some other place. So it's, it's not just about money. Money gives us options. Mm. You know, can I take the day off today because I don't need to go to work? Mm. Maybe I want to reduce the number of hours I do so I can spend two days serving God in some form, whatever that might be. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, so I feel that this conference, it's, it's going to have three very defined aspects. It's going to have spiritual keys of how to break through even into a new level of faith that God has for you so that we can see the provision. Many people are seeing and believing for provision, but, but seems like it's almost out of reach. So there's going to be some spiritual keys. There's going to be some knowledge and strategies that are going to be released. And, and their, their knowledge and strategies are going to be down to earth and you can go and activate them and start to, to uh, workshop those. Those, um, actual knowledge and strategies and also there's going to be practical application so I feel that, that, that it's important to have this whole rounded aspects not just the one or the other but these three spiritual uh, mm. sp sp these defined aspects in, mm. in this seminar yeah mm. it's really yeah. good and, and we always like to have some sort of practical outcome in what we mm. teach Josh mm. it's you know we, we can hear, sit and hear um, that's great we learn things that way mm. but we actually learn by doing it's in the doing that we understand and it's the same here we want to be able to apply the principles of god apply the principles of business or finance and and, and see the outcomes so we're getting results because that really helps us to understand the process and how to put all those pieces together mm. yeah that's really good and i think like you guys have been touching on some of that already in terms of you've been speaking a lot on the ways of god and doing things god's way so that's going to be super exciting to yeah. hear about how that unfolds mm. um next question uh, what sort of topics are you going to cover in the seminar? Well, we're going to cover a lot of different things. Uh, we want to, as Laurel said, we want, to, we want to teach on some of the principles of God. So there'll be that aspect. We want to teach some practical applications and different areas where people may uh, be able to invest or develop their, a business on the mm. side. Mm. So that's not, you know, let's start somewhere. Mm. So let's start. Yeah. And I suppose that's part of this process. And... and from this seminar, we see, uh, I guess, some groups that will come out of that where we can help people to develop what their interests are mm. in a further step. Mm, yeah. So it's not just a, a one-off thing where you just get a bit, a bit of information and move on. We want it to be an ongoing uh, opportunity for people to develop and grow. Mm, yeah, that's good. And I feel actually uh, this seminar in some ways was birthed out of the almost awakening for us that hey, we've been in ministry and business for over 20 years now and we've seen God's favour and there's been things that God's always challenged us in but he's always come through and we come to realise, hey, there's some things that we walk in and talk in in a very natural way that we've been taught to by God and we want to pass those on. We feel it's the right time to start to unwrap this stuff and actually empower other people to, to be people of, of influence and be people of, um, of even that, as Phil already said, that flexibility. Phil's been in many variations of business all at one time sometimes in in property development in shares and and other aspects he's been a financial planner so he's the one with the with the wisdom there and, and uh and so yeah we're very excited to pass all this on yeah and you've also got that spiritual aspect to finance because you know finances is a very spiritual thing isn't it mm. you know god really values our the way that we manage our finances so super exciting on two different levels there um, next question, um, do you have an example as to how God has revealed himself in your own finances? Look, I've been in business for quite a while and uh, it's not uncommon to see God do miracles um, because you've stepped out and done what you believe God has said. Mm. And sometimes that can be really exciting mm. and scary at the same time. Mm. Uh, but I've seen things where, you know, sort of need money for something and, and you know it's the 11th hour or later and then all of a sudden a check will come in it's unexpected and and uh you know we're able to go forward and do things so it's it business is great for building our faith mm. and it's great mm. for developing our character and uh it's just a, a great for applying those principles of god in our life mm. Mm. Yeah, Hebrews 11, 6 says it's impossible to please God without faith. And people, being people that are, that are believing for uh, financial breakthrough and, and God's greater provision that's been promised really causes you to step into a level of faith and, and have God uh, reveal himself, who he really is, 
to us, to you, uh, in in, a, in in an amazing way. Sometimes, unless we get out in the water, you know, we're not gonna we're not gonna walk on it. So uh, we're gonna give you an opportunity and, and maybe unpack that in a way uh, at this seminar. So it's on May the twenty fifth. May the twenty fifth is the uh, is the seminar, and uh, it's in uh, in Parramatta area. So um, yeah. So guys, hopefully that's um, sort of got you excited and, and, uh, and optimistic about, you know, what God has to say about your life and your finances. And make sure you put May the 25th down in your diary. Um, schedule that day out because it's going to mm-hmm. be a very important day. Probably change your life. So um, hope yes. to see you there. Follow you the there. link and you'll be able to um, register. Follow the link. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.